Traditionally, the background removal tools in Shutterstream product photography software have struggled with shadows, objects that don't contrast with the background, and inconsistent backgrounds. And as we can see with this image, this checks all three of those boxes. We've introduced a new tool, our AI background removal tool. What we can do here is select it, hit apply, and we're going to see it does a much better job removing the product image from the background. The next video will discuss how the tool works and its features and functionality. Uh, right now we have our camera's live view enabled. As you can see, my hand going back and forth in front of the camera. And what I'm going to do is take an object, and we'll be shooting a watch in this case, and place it in front of the camera here. So I've placed my object there. The first thing we're going to notice here is that uh, it's quite underexposed. So I'm going to go to Control Camera. And I'm going to adjust my camera settings and maybe we'll take it one stop higher probably about shutter speed of one tenth nice thing about when you make these changes is the uh, live view reflects exposure simulation um, so if you make a change to the exposure you'll see that in real time now my next step what i want to do is probably crop this subject we don't need to shoot the whole entire frame of the camera here so i'm going to define a crop area and that's what i just did with this rectangle that i drew when i'm ready to capture my image i'll hit snap You'll hear the camera snap and that will upload the image into the thumbnail gallery down here. I've enabled leave live view enabled after capture because I'm going to be shooting multiple images of this product. And let's just place it. We're going to shoot a back view of this watch. Looks pretty good there and we'll just hit our snap button again. So we've captured image one and two as we can see. Let me just close my camera uh, window there. And uh, now what I want to do is go into my editing area. Now you're going to see a new button in the editing area in the bottom left called AI Background Removal. And I'm going to apply this in a batch process. So what I want to do is you can just see one image is selected. I can either select all thumbnail and that will highlight both. Or I can select the first and the last of the image set and hold shift when doing so. And that will select all the images. Um, so I'm going to open the AI background removal feature here and I do have the option, nothing's going to happen right now, but I do have the option to preview. And this typically takes about uh, three to five seconds, depending on your computer speed, to uh, kind of show the preview. And as you can see, what we've got here is a really nice cutout of the subject. Now what I'm going to do is hit apply. Again, when I hit apply, it's going to apply to image one and two. And again, this process will take uh, typically about three to four seconds per image. As we can see, the image processing kind of taskbar was going up top there. And now we can see the process is done. So I'm going to close out of the AIBR window and we will inspect the images. So you can see it's done a pretty good job. Image one looks like a pretty flawless cutout. Uh, image number two, we can see it did an excellent job. It did miss this part just right in here. The nice thing about uh, uh, Shutterstream application is you do have additional tools. So for instance, I want to use my magic wand tool. I'm going to select inside the watch there and I'm going to constrain the selection to a clicked region. And I might want to do a bit of a mask grow. And all I'll do there is hit apply or else shift A. We'll apply that to the image. And as we can see, it's removed that additional part. And let's just inspect this last image. You can see there's a tiny little part here. So I'll just click that and it remembers my settings. So I'll just hit shift A again. And there we go. We have our two images cut out. Now, one thing you can't really notice, there's a tiny little hue around the outside of the watch. Um, I'm just going to do one more click just somewhere off here in the distance. And we're just going to grow our mask again just to get rid of that little hue around, uh, around the watch. And I'm going to select both my images and hit the apply button or shift A. It's the keyboard shortcut, and that will do a little bit uh, tighter of a mask around the image, just getting rid of that uh, kind of external glow or hue. And there's our two images. Now what we want to do is our last step would be to output these, so I will rename it. We'll just call this watch. And we can say let's resize to, say, a 1,000 pixels wide is what we need for our website. Um, we can replace the transparent area uh, with any color that we want, or else we can retain uh, the transparent properties if outputting as a PNG or a TIFF. 
Um, I'll save just as a JPEG. And let's just use green just so we can inspect the overall cutout. And we'll hit apply. And that's going to save my images to a selected folder. Let's inspect these images. We can see watch one and watch two per our naming. And then we can see image one and image two. Very nice cutout for both images using the automated background removal tool. If you have any questions, please let us know. Again, the company is Iconosys and the software is Shutterstream product photography software.